Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella and today I'm going to be showing you two products. I've done a review on Colora Mandala's Magical Nature book before. So we're not going to spend too much time on that. What I am going to show you today are their nylon brush pens. You get 50 in a set. It says so here, 50 premium nylon brush pens and two water tank brushes. And then you have the same in French and the same in German if you're interested. So you get 52 pens in all. 50 plus 2. If I turn over the packaging... You've got the French, you've got the German, and you've got the English. And it says, nylon brush pens, perfect for colouring, hand lettering, bullet journaling, and much more. They're water-based and they're non-toxic, which is always good to know. So, let's have a look. First is the case. It's a really nice case. It doesn't have a handle, but it is a good case. It's got branding at the bottom, cute little rainbow, very apt for this year. It's got a metal zip, as you can see. So we're just opening the case. And people are like, why are you spending so much time on a case? And I'm like, it's important. It's got stitching around there and it's padded on both sides. And there's the spine of the case. So it opens out. There's your pens and you have ocean blue 430 on this side all the way down to we can find out what the last pen is that would be really useful uh, light cream 120 then we've got this middle section which contains orange red that's 610 to 440 azure blue we then get this so you've got English German and French again the three languages scanning code and it says thank you dank messy at the top so this premium quality colouring notice the missing you so this is American English um, from Colour. The premium quality colouring medium by Colara was especially designed to provide a unique colouring experience on the pages of your colouring books for adults. Enjoy this wonderful colouring illustration. Enjoy this wonderful colouring illustration for our books as you let go of daily stress and let your creativity take flight. Scan the code and join the colouring group on Facebook. And we also have a design there it's card as you can hear it makes that lovely cardy sound the card does so on this one so you got that that and then here you have we have brilliant red that's 620 all the way down to nur which is black and that's 990. You then have your two water tank pens. And I'm just going to get them out briefly. Because these are quite important. They have different tips. So this one. There's a lid. Brush tip. Very much like a paintbrush. No problems. So that's that one. And then the other one is not a brush tip. It's a square tip, as you can see there. And the square tip is actually easier to bring out the colour and stretch it further out. Whereas the other one is more like a brush. Oh, and to re-screw these, to unscrew them it's clockwise, to re-screw them it's anti-clockwise. 50 pens in here. I'm going to get a pen out so you can have a look. At what they're like they're really good pens because their tops allow them not to roll so they're anti-roll tops notice they've got a click that's the tip and this one is just orange red love the design of them so so nice easy to hold not a problem 
put the lid back on and you do have to have the click yeah it's clicked on click on click off for these now how do they use ignore this one that's one i did with um pencil colors felt tips and watercolors there but that is not why we're here we're here for this i really like the fact that their books are ring bound because it makes it easier for them to use okay before you do any coloring with these you need to do a color patch chart now why on earth have i stuck this bit of paper on here it's to prevent the um because these are watercolor based they are basically like watercolor pencils but in pen form so they leak ink everywhere um which is good you just need to control it i've put this on to protect that beautiful artwork there that i did in pencil and felt tip there so here are all the colors from black noir to light cream which is 120 and that's how they work and how they function it's really good idea to do this with any kind of pen or pencil coloring set that you get note that this is thick card and it kind of still comes through so i use this page for it so i've got the color patch color number and color name so here we have asphalt its color number is 970 and then i've got it from dark all the way to light see and that's what you need to do because it makes them so much easier to use i can show you one that I have recently done. See, the tails here I've put in the red wine colour here. I just used it as a felt tip, nothing more. And that's what I recommend you do first. Here is one that I have done. Obviously, her skin tone, I used a brown colour ring pencil for that. And also a light blue colouring pencil there. And an orange one, but I can't remember where I put it. All the rest of the colours, I've used these pens. And I've just used them like a felt tip. I haven't done anything else besides that. And that's the first thing you need to do, is get used to using them like that before you start doing watercolour stuff because with watercolours that's the first thing you need to do is get used to using them just like felt tips with watercolours what tends to happen is people use too much water the colour then dilutes and it becomes watery and you end up with a lovely white watery mess and it just goes bleh, and it, it really is about water control like here this is one of the reasons why we do one of these patch tests because it lets us know how much water the card can take before it starts to seep through and you can just see how it's starting to seep through on the back here and that's always a useful thing to do because you then can learn the tone and Another thing about these pens is just by using them as pens, you can layer them, excuse me, you can layer them and that will give you a thicker tone. It'll make the pig pigment darker and then the less you layer them, the lighter the tone. And you can also blend the two colours together. I've not got any examples of that to date because that's something that I'm going to do next but you can take two colours and blend them together because they're watercolours and that's without even adding anything from the water tank pens. There are loads of different things that you can do with these. They are not straight felt tips but to get your handle on the tip As you can see there, it's worth practicing with them. Just colouring in with them um, like a felt tip helps you get the control, helps you understand how they work and move because they are not like 
regular colouring pencils or even regular felt tips. They are brush pens, um, which means that they operate like a um, paintbrush. So this is basically a earth yellow paintbrush already loaded and it's up to you how you press with it to how much ink you get and then you have to add the water from the water tank pen to then thin it to dilute the pigment into what you want and how to use it. I will be showing you um, some more of those and how to use use them and doing some blending things but first what I have to make really clear is make sure your paper is thick enough because if it isn't thick then there's no point using these it's like over here I've got this wonderful wonderful coloring book but it is paper it would not hold the pigment it would just seep through and that would be a shame because these beautiful designs would be absolutely ruined thick card is what you need for these watercolor pens they are not the same as sharpies don't make that mistake they are watercolor paints and i'm really looking forward to doing some more work with them i hope you've enjoyed this um review slash commentary i will be doing some more blending with these pens but this is just a general product review and commentary on how they're used please like comment and subscribe thank you for the support but just to let you know that I think that this product is really good purely because you get a case with it, they're neatly labelled, you get a trial sample piece. See, this is a really good sample piece to practice getting in those fine areas and also doing some background colouring on. But notice how thick it is. It has to be this thick. Because the pens will not work on regular A4 paper. These are artist materials, people. And they are awesome. Watercolours need a lot of practice. And even here, that's why I got so excited when I bought this book. One, it was ring bound, which meant I could just have one artwork out at a time and the other artworks were protected because of the card but I was really pleased it's like this background I use my regular watercolor pans to get it and it takes so yeah please like comment and subscribe let me know in the comments how you found these pens to be this is my first try with them just as pens like a felt tip, really good to just get a handle on them. Um, let me know in the comments below how you've used them. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and thank you for the support. Bye now.